Look, I know you said you weren't interested, but I really think you should see these. <laughs> yeah, of course you'd be a natural, because that's the kind of day this is. She's still around? Yep. I asked her to sit and wait over there. For the record, I don't trust you. Okay. Not even a little bit. Got it. But you're ridiculously photogenic, so I'm going to let you audition. <laughs> Thank you! Don't. If I'm right, and you're only here to get the goods on David, you're wasting your time. I have no idea where he is. to see every nook and cranny. That one is way too bright. Uh, hey, why don't you take a break? I'll get one of the waiters to go on. She stole her. What? Erica saw Amanda Martin in all of her perfectly sculpted glory and poached her for her own campaign. So much for her promise to just observe. I called my dad. That diva is not getting away with it. Is your back bothering you? No. A little. Without David around to keep an eye on it. David is not the only person that can help you, okay? Sit down. I don't need to sit down. Please, just sit for a second. You don't need to be in pain. Please, just sit, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Where does it hurt? Are you in here? Okay, move your arm. <clears throat> but, but listen, I'm not gonna hurt you more like this, right? I'm not going to re-injure you somehow. I'm not going to break. Okay. okay. How's that? This isn't necessary. I know. I know. Well. I see Greenlee didn't waste any time. You do know that was not your casting call today and that you had no right to sign Amanda Martin before Greenlee had a chance to see her. Jack, you know very well that I'm going for glamour with my line. And Greenlee said from the beginning that she's going for a more natural look. Now you tell me which one Amanda fits better. You can spin this any way you want, Erica, but you violated the very spirit of our agreement by going behind Greenlee's back like that. Did it ever occur to you that maybe Greenlee is the one who went behind my back? I mean, frankly, Jack, Greenlee had dozens of models to choose from today, and not one of them looked very natural to me. You honestly don't see that you're not playing fair, do you? Jack, I don't play at all when it comes to business. I don't play when it comes to anything in my life. When I know what I want, I go after it. And I don't stop until it's mine. talk. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Shall we? I have some exciting news. Oh. Tempo is going to do an article on J.R. about his struggle with lymphoma and how a bone marrow transplant saved his life. Hmm. Bone marrow donated by me. Yes, well, I got J.R.'s okay, so I just need yours. Fine. Well, J.R. wouldn't be alive if it weren't for you, Annie. You know, you are a huge piece of this article. Really? Yes. And with your permission, I would like to put you on the cover. <gasps> of the magazine? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Adam, did you hear that? <laughs> I did, yes. <laughs> and thank you for all the gifts you've given our family and uh, are continuing to give. I'm not sure I know how I'm going to repay you. <laughs> So what's the verdict? It's just got a hangover. He'll live. Listen, I really appreciate you coming over like this with the whole probation thing. I sort of had to play this on the down low. You know, pills and booze is a dangerous combination. He's a lucky kid in more ways than one. Oh, I don't know about that. Leastways, not where his new father is concerned. You know, I spent the entire night looking that kid in the eye, jumping all over him, reading the right act, 
on what to do, what not to do. Sound familiar? Except the entire time I was doing it, I had a secret eating a hole through the back of my head. Kind of an example is that. Maybe you should just tell him the truth. What is it with you? I can't tell him the truth. I can't go near the truth until I discuss it with Hillary first. You're doing a good job. This is your son, right? It's your son. If I, were, uh, you, I, I wouldn't waste a minute. I mean, think of what I went through with Trevor. No, 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 wait a minute. I love you, but Trevor's an entirely different story, okay? It's a fact. As bad as whatever you went through with Hayward was, and it was bad, Hayward's gonna be nothing but a ghost story you tell him when he's a teenager, if you tell him at all. Well, the fact is, you're the only father that Trevor's ever gonna know, God bless you. My, my Damon, that's a whole different kettle of fish. You're right. Poor kid. Spends 18 years calling another man daddy. A man is obviously a prize-winning jackass. Wow. Still, I can't just dump it on him. You know, not, not like that. It wouldn't be fair to Damon. Or his erstwhile mother, wherever she is. I wish I had the answer for you, but... Oh, this is the first. I don't suppose with the way he came home, the shape he was in, you, you had time to take care of your other problem. My other problem? Liza. Liza, oh, no, I took your advice. You did? Sterling. Yeah, no, I went over this morning. Oh. It's for all the good it did. I should have saved myself the trip. Why? Because I didn't break her heart. I didn't hurt her in any, any way, shape, or form. As far as Liza's concerned, I did her an enormous favor. My God, you are a bigger idiot than I thought. Is that your idea of a compliment? Is that your idea of a threat? Really? You're gonna go tell Damon that Tad is his father? You can go sky ride it for all I care. Boy, you really are full of surprises today, aren't you? You know, David, don't try to play me. You'll not only lose, but you're going to piss me off. Duly noted. Where are you going? Off to find myself another lawyer. Don't bother. You're looking at her. <laughs> 